So there was recently a Reddit post that got a few thousand upvotes, and it was complained about channels like Armchair Historian and other amateur history channels. Basically, he accused them of over-sensationalizing history and not sourcing well. I think Armchair Historian's response video was a good response video, so you can watch that if you want. I wasn't mentioned, but as a channel that is indeed not a professional team, and as a channel that makes videos on history, I want to talk about the topic in general of amateur history channels and sourcing or sensationalizing. YouTube educational channels have a unique position. Unlike documentaries, and certainly even more unlike the academic and scholarly world, you don't need a degree or professional tenure to publish something. Yet in spite of that, non-professional YouTube historians can reach thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands, or even a few million people. The academic side of history relies so much on proper sourcing that if you have bad sourcing, you'll be laughed out of the academic community. My favorite example is Gavin Menzies, who tried to make a book proving that China reached the Americas before Columbus did, and his main source was a supposed Chinese map depicting the Americas that was made in the mid-1400s, around 50 years before Columbus would have even gotten there at all. But the source turned out to be a forgery, so the entire thing falls apart. But a YouTube video doesn't have that same stigma, or at least not nearly as much. Bias is impossible to completely avoid, and oversimplification is inevitable in places like schools. But there's still this goal, or for some, a duty to fight these things as best as possible. So it's understandable that some will see videos and think that they're oversimplifying things and biased and be horrified at the spread of potential misinformation. After all, so many will just watch a video or read an article and never follow up on it to see if it was correct or not or they won't care about sourcing at all. Obviously, this is a problem, but this isn't new with the YouTube community. That China America history book? The inaccuracies didn't stop the book from becoming a bestseller among the populace. Books like those as well as history books with personal or political slants will sell a lot of copies to people who will buy them and therefore spread misinformation. Like with videos or articles, the people buying those books usually won't go, well gee, let me buy a few more books to see if they're accurate or not. People are lazy, but in the modern world, more and more are watching YouTube historian videos. Should they be held to the same stigma of academic sourcing and be pressured to include reliable sourcing? Yes and no. Sourcing, especially using proper sources, is always fantastic, but it honestly depends on the channel. If you're genuinely making historical analysis videos where you're asserting a thesis of some kind using history, you should use a good source. But what people forget is many channels never claim to be professional. The bad history books will often try to claim that, showing praises from publications or other famous people to validate them. But amateur history channels often don't do that. Often what these channels do is summarize something to promote interest in the topic for the viewer. That's certainly what my videos try to do, both the map videos and the lecture videos. People shouldn't expect academic level sourcing, and in general should always be skeptical and follow up with research on their own. But with so many people who don't, I still feel like I should anyway. With my map videos, I'm not worried. Usually I source those, and since I'm just showing positions on a map where there's no need for a narrative of some kind, I don't need to source the most scholarly sources. Don't get me wrong, I'll certainly, you know, use books before Wikipedia or other websites and stuff like that, but I won't lose sleep at using Wikipedia to find out the date Germany occupied Warsaw or something like that. For my lecture videos, I feel like I could do better. They're supposed to only get you interested, and several only talk about a general narrative of events rather than attempt to assert a theory, but many of them I don't link or provide basic citations. I may mention something in a video occasionally, but I could do way better. So from now on I'm going to try to post at least some decent basic citations for my lecture videos. Keep in mind several channels like Armchair Historian have a team. I don't. I'm literally one guy with one laptop and a bunch of books. I won't be perfect, but I still want to both excite you about history and educate it, and I certainly want to improve myself. Thanks for watching.